everyone, I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back here to show you how I recreated or attempted to recreate this Bantu knot lock style that Tando Cafele achieved on my locks. If you've seen my last video, then you know that I modeled at the Juneteenth hair show for Tando Cafele and he styled my hair all over in these beautiful, these beautiful Bantu knots and I wanted to do a variation of the style on my own. So I was only able to keep his bantu knots in for about a day and a half, but I wanted to put them back in. And as I put them back in, I realized, oh, this is really cute when I just put them in the front and leave the braids in the back out. So um, yeah, let me show you how I did it. It's really simple. So my hair is already braided up. And one thing about these braids, and in general, when it comes to braiding your locks, try to braid them flat try to braid them flat and that's really gonna help when it comes to styling regardless of what kind of style you're gonna be doing braid them flat and that way they're more malleable um, while I'm having no problem with braiding or with um, knotting the braids on, on the sides near my ears so I don't need to do anything special. I just can wrap it into a cinnamon roll, a nice little cinnabon, a gluten-free, sugar-free cinnabon. And I secure it with a rubber band. But when it comes to the ones in the top, I will have to mist, which you will see in a second. But um, I'm going to just secure it with the rubber band and then I'll show you an up-close version in a second. But it's really, really simple, especially if your braids are braided in, um, it doesn't have to be symmetrical, but if they're braided kind of evenly throughout your head, it'll, it'll look good enough. Obviously, our locks are different sizes on different parts of our, our heads, you know, so don't expect perfectly symmetrical buns. It's okay. It's okay. You know, we're not expecting perfection. We're just expecting beauty period so at, up close you see I'm really just rolling it into a little cinnabon securing it with the rubber band I'm tucking the end inside the bun so technically it's kind of secure without the rubber band but if you're gonna be out and about moving around you're gonna want to secure it with a rubber band just so your hair isn't falling out So once I secure those two, I'm going to go to the ones in the top. And as you can see, they're not symmetrical. See, the like, one is kind of higher than the other one, but it's also because of how the braids are placed. And that's okay. It looks good still. But I just misted the two braids on the top with my rose water moisturizer, which is available now. Shop on my site, KeishaCharmaine.com, as usual. But the mist really helps those those locks become more malleable because I, find, I found that those those particular braids had more locks than the ones by my ears. So while the the braids by my ears, they might have had six locks, the ones in the middle might have had eight locks. Um, that's just a guess. But they were, or at least the locks were just thicker. Because as you can just observe and see that the ones in the middle are thicker than the ones on the sides. But that's really it. Again, if you need any help with formation, mist your hair first so it's malleable secure with a rubber band to be safe and that's it roll them tightly roll them gently but tightly thank you so much for watching love light and locks the love light and locks rosewater moisturizer has been getting really great reviews check it out on www.keishacharmaine.com do you see how much mist you get with a single spray Perfect for quick and generous application to be distributed all over your luscious locks. And it's great for loose naturals and protective styles too. With organic rose water, aloe vera juice, horsetail extract, and more, this blend is carefully crafted for optimal hydration and nourishment for your natural hair. Check out my shop. We have free shipping today. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe. You can always visit www.keishacharmaine.com for hair growth products, hair accessories, and more. But don't leave just yet. Check out my featured video and my latest video.